What's up cuties? In today's video, we are trying icy hot traditional Taiwanese desserts. So I'm talking cold, I'm talking chewy, and I'm talking jiggly. Are you ready to get hot and cold? Cue music, cause you're hot and you're cold, you're yes and you're no, you're in and you're Katy Perry, come see me. Meow. We are at our first restaurant. We're gonna try something very traditional. It is a dessert. It is called Tang Yuan or rice balls. It's a sweet dessert. Inside there's usually fillings like red bean paste, sesame paste, peanut butter paste. Generally you consume it hot, but this restaurant elevated it and took it to another level. And you guys will see. So before you get a taste of the goodies, we're gonna have a history lesson. Okay, great. <sighs> Hi, look. So back in the days, long, long time ago, in the Yango era, or was it Mongo? I think, it, I think it's Yango era, okay? Tang Yuan was actually called something else. It was called Yuan Shao. But the reason it got changed is because back then, Emperor's name was also Yuan, and Yuan Shao means removing Yuan. And if you're an empire, you don't want nobody saying to remove you. Am I right? Am I right? And that is why Tang Yuan is called Tang Yuan today and not Yuan Shao. Nowadays, Tang Yuan is usually consumed on a holiday called the Lantern Festival. The Lantern Festival celebrates the first full moon of the Lunar New Year. And we consume a Tang Yuan on this special holiday because the Tang Yuan is white and round just like the moon. <laughs> Yeah, that was a great history lesson. You tell your history teacher to come see me too. This restaurant is, if you translate it into English, it actually means icy hot fireballs. Okay, sorry. It actually means icy hot balls. Even better. So what they do is they get this giant block of ice and they start shaving it. And then they get Tang Yuan from this big pot of boiling water. I mean, these little balls are just inside, just steaming. So they scoop the Tang Yuan and then they put it on this giant cloud of ice. I mean, it's massive. Okay, it's huge. I've never seen anything bigger than that. Or have I? When it comes to you, it looks like something out of this planet. Check this out. never seen a dessert that looks like this. This literally looks like an icy pillow. When you get this, you want to eat it as fast as you can because the ice will cool the Tang Yuan and what happens is the outer layer becomes really stiff. So we want to get it when it's hot. Dig right in there, get a bunch of ice and look at this beautiful ball. Oh my gosh, it is just steaming. There's steam coming out of it. It looks like the outer layer is going to be so chewy. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna bite it in half. But when you come here, you put this whole thing in your mouth. Let's go. Actually, you don't need to blow it. Just bite into it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is the peanut butter filling. When you guys think about peanut butter, you may think inside of Tang Yue, it's kind of creamy and smooth. It is that, but this filling also has grainy bits of peanut. So it's just, this, it's like a chunky peanut butter inside this Tang Yuan, and it is incredible. Let me just put this whole thing in my mouth now, ready? Oh my God. God damn, it's so good. <laughs> There's nothing more satisfying than putting something so warm and chewy paired with crunchy ice on the outside and then putting that in your mouth is just like a texture explosion. Like explosion. <laughs> Get it? Because this looks like a cloud of explosion. But I'm bunch. Now let's try the sesame one. So again, we're gonna grab a bunch of this. And you guys, when you guys look at this, you may see there's these little 
pieces, these golden pieces right here. They look kind of like leaf or flower petal. What they drizzle on this amazingness is osmanthus sauce. Osmanthus sauce is a sweet flower sauce and it kind of tastes like honey. Gonna take a bite. Do you see that sesame filling? My problem with sesame things is sometimes it's too green, it's too sandy. But this sesame is creamy, it is smooth. So you have the peanut butter one that is kind of chunky with little bits of peanut inside and you have this smooth sesame, two different texture, bundled in this beautiful mochi outer layer. Amazing. I've just finished all of my balls. And you're probably thinking, oh, is that it? No, it is not, ladies and gentlemen, okay? There is more. Because over here is a little sauce platter. And you may just walk by it and think nothing of it. You just be like, oh, what's this? <laughs> Big mistake, okay, because this is good. This right here is the osmentus sauce. And we get to get a little bit close up so you can see that. Oh, look at that beautiful syrup. Oh my gosh. Can I bathe in this? Next video, I bathe in osmentus sauce. <laughs> and this right here is a lemon sauce. So what you do, get some of the syrup, pour it in. If you want to, if you're feeling saucy, okay, add a few, uh, just, a, just a drop, just a drop of this. And now what you have here is a refreshing snow cone in a bowl. Sweet, lemony, tarty. It's just absolutely delicious. On a hot day like this, which is almost every day here in Taiwan, this is an absolute must. Mm, so good. We just got hot and icy up in here, ladies and gentlemen. On to the next stop. We're continuing this little desserts tour. Desserts, desserts tour. I got my $100 bill here that I got for my night shift. What? We're gonna order two things that I want you guys to try. Okay, two very special things. So we are in our second shop, and I have something in front of me that is also very refreshing and very good. Of course, everything on this channel is good. Thumbs up this video. And right in front of me, I have something called the I Eat Zoma Bean. What's included is a bunch of ice cube, all right, some sugar syrup, and a mixture of little dessert balls. Like there is yellow, there's white, there's tapioca balls, and these, these white ones are the little Taoyuan. So they're what we just had, except there's no filling. The actual star of the show, the reason why I brought you here, is this. And I don't know if you can see that. Just kidding, yes you can. Look at that. That right there is a massive piece of IU jelly. Oh my gosh, it is just spilling everywhere. It's like the iceberg in Titanic. Oh my gosh, it's sinking, it's sinking. Look at the way that jiggles. Oh yeah. Come on this channel for food porn and I deliver. Oh yeah. IU jelly, okay, how is it made? IU is actually made from a seed of a fig that you can find here in Taiwan. So what they do is they grab the seed out of the fig, they put it into this little cloth bag, and then they start rubbing it. And they start rubbing it like this. And as you rub it, the gel secrete from the seed, and you use that gel to make this, the IU jelly. Mm. We're going to take a big spoonful of this jelly with some of that ice and that <laughs> syrup soup. Ready? This is gonna be so refreshing. What this tastes like to me is a delicious summer lemonade, except in a bowl. Look at the different texture you have going on here, okay? You have this soupy syrup water, and then you have that jiggly jello, and then you have these chewy dessert balls. I mean, this spoon, this spoon is gonna be a heavenly bite. Oh boy. That's a mouthful of goodness. Mm. If you guys thought I used shaved ice was the only thing we're covering here, nah, -uh, there's more. Right here is the grass jelly bowl. Look at these tapioca balls right here. They look like little alien eggs. Look at that. Oh yeah, girl. What's great about this bowl, and I think adds that extra something special, 
are the red beans. Check that out. The red beans are soaked, and then when you bite into it, it's gonna give you this nice, mushy, sweet texture. And of course, we have the star of the show, giant, giant piles of grass jelly. Oh gosh, there's something about the way Jello jiggles that I love. Oh yeah, girl, get it, oh get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> The thing about this one that I love even more, besides the red bean, you get the coffee creamer. So this is any kind of creamer that you can put in your coffee. Even, it even says cafe creamer. What you want to do is open it. And this goes in there. Ready? quality content. I'm ready to dig into this delicious bowl. I want to make sure the spoon, we get chunks of that grass jelly. Now a lot of Taiwanese food, we love to mix texture. That's why here we have the crunch of the ice, the smoothness of the jello, and then the chew in these balls. Are you guys ready? Mm. Grass jelly, if you eat it by itself, you get like a grass jelly drink, which is basically grass jelly with some syrup and ice. It's gonna taste a little bit medicinal. It's more like a herb because how they make it is they get the leaves and stalks of a particular plant. They oxidize that plant, they dump it into a, like a pot, and then they start boiling it along with some starch. The liquid that comes out at the end of that, they use that liquid to turn it into grass jelly. So it's got, of course, that herbal, medicinal, Chinese medicine type of taste, okay? But the awesomeness about this particular dessert is that they add that cafe creamer to kind of balance out that bitterness from the grass jelly. When you take a bite, you don't taste that bitterness. All you taste is that smooth, jiggly jello goodness with some of that sweetness and that coldness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. When you arrive in Taiwan and you're like, oh, it is hot as balls. Well, guess what? You can come get some rice balls. So those are some traditional Taiwanese desserts. I think the first restaurant kind of elevated it, but at the end of the day, the flavor is all there. If you're craving something like this, I'll put the Chinese name in the description, also the English name, so that you can easily type it into Google Maps and search it. In our savory food, we like to mix a lot of different texture, and we do the, exactly the same in our desserts as well as you saw today. Now I'm gonna turn it back to you guys. Which of the three that we tried today was your favorite? Thanks so much for watching. Thumbs up this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!